Today, we're going to look at five more reasons to start a record collection. The last time I explored this topic was about a year ago, and we covered things like sound quality, collectability, artistic and visual appeal, the social community aspect, and nostalgia. There are other reasons to dig into becoming a collector of physical media. In this list, we're going deeper and grittier. Buckle up, because I'm not going to coddle you. Number one. As a number of commenters noted in that first video, having thousands of records leads some to exclaim, oh, you can never listen to all of those, but I disagree. Every so often, I will start from the beginning and methodically listen to everything in my collection while also peppering in what I want to listen to and other new items that I've been adding to the collection. Vinyl forces you to listen to full albums, not just singles. Not only is this a great way to call out some of the stuff you just don't enjoy anymore, it's a great way to revisit and rediscover forgotten favorites and bring them back into the fold. I'm in the middle of doing this right now, and one that popped up is this right here. The Besnard Lakes are the Dark Horse. Now, this blends indie rock and elements of shoegaze and a bunch of other things for a truly amazing sound. I love this record, and were it not for it being in my collection, I probably would have forgotten about it long ago. But here I am rediscovering my love for this album. Number five is a little bit similar, but goes in a slightly different direction. So you'll want to stick around for that one. Number two. If you think you know music, well, think again. It's time to get schooled and understand the artistry of album creation. I often find myself exploring the artwork, digging into liner notes, or browsing the internet to explore more about the albums I'm currently spinning while they're on the turntable. Though not all albums come with inserts or liner notes, those that do essentially have bonus content. If you enjoy digging into the history of albums or the backgrounds of the bands you love, the liner notes can provide an interesting snapshot of their history in the making. Though they are now defunct, Bandbox was great at providing supplemental inserts. They essentially included an entire zine-like booklet about the bands they reissued on their label. The only one I have is the 1994 album Split by Lush, which actually came out 30 years ago this last weekend. Number three... In a world where everything is instant... Vinyl makes you wait. From cleaning your records to setting the needle, it's all a very in-depth process. Appreciate the wait, it's character building. Maintaining your collection isn't for the lazy. Through these processes, you build discipline and habits, and your future self will really appreciate the care that you put in. Now, dropping the needle on a record is also a bit of a ritual. It's about being present and in the moment. Want to practice mindfulness? <laughs> Spin a record and get lost in the grooves. Believe me, it's worth it. Number four. Vinyl connects you to the music in a way that digital can't. Each crackle and pop is a reminder of the physicality of sound. It, it's raw, it's, it's real, a hell of a lot more engaging than the sterile experience of an MP3. Streaming is the norm now, but vinyl, despite the resurgence, is a bit of a rebellion. It's a middle finger to the fast food music culture we're kind of drowning in at the moment. Be a contrarian and embrace the analog revolution, even though albums these days are admittedly digitally produced. Whatever. Number five. Streaming algorithms are, frankly, a bit trash. Record stores are where you will discover true gems and obscure artists that Spotify will never show you. Believe me, I listen to Spotify a lot, and anytime it goes into that shuffle mode, it just tends to rehash the same 30 or 40 songs over and over. As I noted before, with vinyl, you can't just skip tracks easily. This forces you to 
pay attention to the entire album. Because of this, your record collection says more about you than your Spotify playlist ever could. It's a physical manifestation of your taste and personality. If you have a larger collection like mine, not only do you get to rediscover favorites that wouldn't pop up on your digital playlist, you also get a bonus of regularly visiting the record store and shuffling through all the bins to see what might catch your attention. I can't count how many times I've discovered new favorites that I either took a chance on at a record store or that the owner of the store or an employee at the store recommended I check out. Very little beats those kinds of discovery experiences. Here's a good example. Chesterfield Kings, and here are the Chesterfield Kings. This is from the early 80s, and their album Stop, which came out, I think, just within a few years after that first one. Not only are neither of these albums available on Spotify, I discovered them through the recommendations of others. I took a chance, it paid off. So there you have it. Five more reasons to start a record collection that go beyond the typical talking points. If you're ready to take your music experience to the next level, well, that's what this channel is all about. Hit that subscribe button, ring that little notification bell, and let's go down the rabbit hole together. And if you're not yet convinced, that's okay. Subscribe anyway. You might find that my album story series is a fascinating journey through the history of albums from within my collection. New videos every single week on that one. Next, check out my original five reasons to start a collection and some of my other tips for new record collectors. And I'll see you in the next video.